All right. Chelsea, I hope that made you happy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the cool wall. <laughs> so, first car. Fizzy Turbo. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. This is best this of five. Way. Not cool. Um, but... All right, we're actually getting into it for real right now. Why do we not have the stream? On our... Yeah, so we don't have stream up commentator side. We got Sandstorm and Dayseeker. We're a little delayed here for us, but you know, off to a little really try out in neutral. Wait, why did I say so? Okay, so far we're doing so good, chat. So I'm actually gonna commentate for real this time. Trust me, it will be exciting. Yeah. Anyways, looks like Bugs Bunny is gonna get weakened at 50%. This is actually a very dangerous situation to be in, especially for the Batman here. Really getting that weakened going at the moment. Really taking advantage of it. Got that 76% combo, but right now we're seeing Sandstorm really prove that they are good on the sticks with that yeah. amazing Nair string there. Oh, gonna kick the safe. How does Bugs Bunny kick that safe without having a single toe stub? Like, Toes it's insane. Of steel. I'm gonna need oh, to man. Steel. That's oh, like anime. Base Seeker on the magic percent. And we get the double up special to take that first stock pretty early there. And now you have to see how he plays this, this advantage, you know, how, to, how he can push this further. Well, you know what? You can see here, Bugs Bunny has the stage control right now. So it's all about really just waiting for Bugs Bunny to try to approach and immediately punish it. Just like I was about to say, gonna get that 16% going, gonna dodge the down air from the Bugs Bunny. He's gonna get out of the nair loop, thank goodness, but he's trying. Since I'm trying to get Dayseeker up there with that up air volley, but unfortunately not gonna happen just yet. Ooh, gonna throw the Batarang to get rid of the pie. You don't wanna be slowed down debuff from that. I'm gonna make it back with the side special grapple. Oh, gonna get safe hit back with that on that side of the ball. stage. And now he's got yeah. an edge guard opportunity. We're not quite able to get it though. Yeah, before they're gonna come, our side are gonna come we out. We gotta start everybody! Yeah, so we got an even, pretty even 1-1 one -one game. 39% on Sandstorm so far. But you know, things can be turned around real quick with either of these characters with the way they combo. Man, Dayseeker has just been doing a fantastic job at comboing Sandstorm here so far. Oh my the 98% are gonna take it up from above. Doing the alley-oop to stalking Sandstorm game one. Yeah, man. So he, he ended that second stock the exact same way he did the first one, and he was oh, able to just close crazy. it out quickly, not even taking a single hit um, after Sandstorm got oh, his first yeah. stock out of the way. So I don't know what's see more... how this one ends up going. Yeah, I don't know what's more impressive about that. The fact that Dayseeker was able to two-stock Sandstorm game one there, or the fact that we actually got a game one finished. I was about to say, talk about how long it took us to get into a game. Once we finally do it, that game was over within a matter of you know just a couple minutes. That was a fast one for sure. Yeah, they were really so showing bored up showing at that out. point. They just needed, they just needed to get it done. And that was, that was like pent up anger being let go. And you know what? I appreciate <laughs> it. I guess it years of waiting led to this moment right here, and Dayseeker takes advantage. It wasn't years. <laughs> it felt like it. <laughs> they were waiting like the same minutes, amount of time we a were. A bunch of minutes. It was a bunch of minutes, and it felt like a bunch of minutes. That was a yes. speed run? Uh, yeah, I guess it is a speed run. But why you wouldn't submit the GDQ? Because they would call it a... They would call it a... Tool assisted speed run. So that man was fighting some demons there. Making up for something. Alright, here we go. Looks Game like two. Ooh, running into Sandstorm Trophy gonna swap. 1. Ooh, Sandstorm going to swap to the bougie bugs. It's a good kind of pick right there. You know, always changing the color, changing the skin. Changing the variant in this game is always a good way to sort of regain some of that mental composure, I think, you know? Give yourself some confidence Absolutely. Back. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be off the cuff right now. I'm going to go grab my robe. I'm going to I'm gonna be bougie tailwinds. All right, you do that, man. I like it. All right, saying so, we got... Looks like we are just going to run it back here for the second game. Maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, we're good. You said we'll see how uh, this goes. Daisy, a pretty dominant game one, and we'll see. Off to a start here. We just get the immediate missile upwards of the rocket, and we see a little bit more of the down special coming out from Bugs. The Burrow immediately trying to buy some stage control, be able to move around more, you know, up the mobility, up the amount of tricks that Bugs can pull out of his sleeves here for Sandstorm. 
Absolutely, we see the Bugs Bunny moving back and forth here, doing a very good job. It's just trying to play a little bit of a bait and punish game here so far. And that's kind of what you really need to do in this scenario. Because that first game, Dayseeker was doing a fantastic job of just waiting for Bugs Bunny to try to commit. And then counteracting with something like a fair or even a Batarang as well to really deal with Bugs Bunny's uh, ability to just approach without getting too punished too much. So it's a very good thing to see Sandstorm really change it up a little bit here and just go, okay, so my stage control plan last time didn't work as well. This time, I'm gonna just try to do whatever I can to punish whatever it is Dayseeker's doing. And he was able to read exactly where Dayseeker was gonna try to come in with the down special in the air and was able to take advantage of that with the Lingering Love. 100%. And I think you can just see, like you were saying, the change in game plan from Sandstorm. He, all, he opens up this game with the rocket upwards, trying to just gain some stage control, put some more things out there that Dayseeker's gonna have to react to and have to make decisions about, like he's doing there with the pie. You know, he just has a lot more going on on the stage let's open up some opportunities for him here. Absolutely, we're seeing the up air once again, 100% on the Batman. If he goes to, if he goes up pretty high at this point, like a little bit over Ooh. mid point stage, he, he's gonna take a baseball bat to the head and it's gonna be a Wii Sports out of the park run at that point. But so far, both players over 100% now. It's just a matter of who can get that first hit that potentially killed here. We're gonna see it coming in from Sandstorm. Safe coming oh, into play. That. Gonna use it to move it out into uh, Dayseeker's field of vision. So but I love the jab there from Sandstorm. It slowly put the safe out there as an option. I don't love him going for the secondary hit. I think he should slow and react a little bit more, but that was a great opening and a great play. And that pressure ends up leading to him taking that first stock. 121 still on Sandstorm though. What can he do with this lead? Absolutely, and it's going to be really um, interesting to see what he's going to do now that he's able to equalize it here. Definitely. And then we got the burrow again, and so things are evening up a little bit. I love the use of the up special we are seeing from from uh, Sandstorm here that is opening things up. And here we got the double there to up air combo. Gonna kill so early at 54 damage. He is dead off of the top, and that is the power of Bugs Bunny right there. Damn, Shawty looking hot with that up air there. <laughs> Getting the kill. Second game, gonna make it Thank one to you. one. No, Dayseeker's got a lot coming You're for him at this point. Uji no. Bugs doing the work. Yeah, I mean, what a start to this best of five. Let's Both players go. going back and forth, just sealing early stocks right off of the top on that second life, you know. Both players kind of giving each other a taste of their own medicine. And so I have to see how game three works out after this back and forth we've seen so far. Absolutely. I mean, uh, there's there's no other way to say it, but Bugs Bunny's got some style on him tonight. Yeah, so that was definitely one of those combos that we're going to see later clipped on Twitter. And I can't, I can't wait for wait. it personally. I can't wait for that. And I, and I personally can't wait for the moment like the camera turns on and everybody just sees the abomination that I am right now. But anyways, we're going to be getting on to game three here. Now, this is the bit. I feel like at this point, this is the single most important game because after this game, whoever wins has that momentum going into game four and could potentially take the set. But on top of that, um, the opponent also has the stage pick, which is going to be very interesting to see here. We're going to go back to Trophy's Edge here for this game, and immediately Dayseeker is going to go in for the kill like a Dark Knight should. Yes, I definitely. And it's a really interesting point that, you know, we're talking about stage picks. Both players have opted to stay on Trophy's Edge 1 here, and it's kind of hasn't really played out to either player's advantage, but so far, Dayseeker looking like it's game one again, the way he's comboing Sandstorm all over the screen. Honestly, I feel oh like goodness. this stage is very similar to like if you play Rivals of Aether, like uh, Spirit Tree or even uh, Ethereal Gate. Oh it's a really damn good neutral stage. I mean, you have two small platforms that just move in and out, not really obstructing too much of the stage, to be honest. And they're very good for um, leading positions, you know? It's just a very good thing to have. We're gonna see the kiss come out. Is he gonna fall for it? No, he isn't. Unfortunately, no love in the air tonight. Yeah, so, and as we see, you know, as after Sandstorm lost that first stock, he immediately goes back to a little bit slower game plan, puts the burrow down. I think that's one of the key things that we've seen from Sandstorm. When he has that out, when he opts for these pies, the down, his down attack, it really has changed the pace of the match and allowed him to play slower. And that seems to play to his advantage because once Dayseer gets in, the pressure just doesn't stop. 
Absolutely, and that's the important thing here. If you're trying to play a pressuring play style where you're just trying to get in your opponent's face, you need to do a good job at that. You need to go in, you need to apply that pressure, One and you charm. have to make sure that you are just getting in your opponent's face, not giving them really any room to breathe, you know, like that uncomfortable space that you just, you, personal bubble, man, get out of the way. But you Definitely. really want to apply that pressure so that way they can't do anything about it. Ooh, that was so boy. good. Right, and once is again, this the key over, to yeah. Sandstorm's success has been that burrow. He immediately puts it down. Oh my gosh. And it forces Daisy to try to cover the option. He able, oh, to, no. able to use the up special to secure the first kill there. Now, this is the exact moment Sandstorm has been waiting for, in my opinion. The moment he was able to get that little extra combo after we saw Dayseeker lose that first stock there, he immediately oh, brought the momentum other? into his favor. Oh. And this is exactly what Sandstorm has been looking for. He's been wanting this stage control, but now Dayseeker going in with the all-out offensive opening. playing Arc Knight oh, at this point. Oh, but the reverse the Spike was coming out from Sandstorm. Do nothing. Spike yes. ain't doing nothing. Yes, they Day Dayseeker finally got in there with such a huge comp opportunity, but got a little bit greedy there, and Sandstorm quickly able to reversal and take game three off of that down air. What a, a switch right there, you know, just going from zero to 100 to your death within a matter of seconds. I mean, what else can you really say? Sandstorm is just up there, you know? He's one of the ones. He's one, yeah. of, he's one of the he, guys. He's one of the he best. He definitely is. He definitely is. He has that proven record that no one here is really surprised. Exactly, exactly. But, That's how it should be. Say, so Dayseeker no slouch, so that, that game, despite the fact that it ended the way it did, he really, he was starting to get in there, and we've seen him take socks off of extremely low percent combos, so getting that weekend off of openings, and be able to get the double uppers, things like that, or up, double up specials, actually, was uppercuts, so we'll see what he can pull off here this game for. Absolutely. I feel like the biggest issue right now going in for Day Dayseeker is honestly just the fact that Batman has a, a decently hard time trying to get a kill, you know? You oh yeah, without have... weekend, it can definitely be hard not even without weaken it's just the fact that up special isn't as consistent of a kill confirm unfortunately it is very very good but um not too many things to combo into it yeah it definitely has to be a read on some kind of dodge or drift up towards that top last zone absolutely really and here we go game number four against. once again we're going to trophy's edge so i'm not gonna see any variance in stages yeah see so far we are four for four on the same one um, and, you know, Sandstorm opting for that similar playstyle. He got the pie right off the start, getting the safe out, getting the, the, the rocket, everything. And he was really opting for this little bit more patience in his gameplay. And Dayseeker yet to kind of adapt. I feel like when Burrow's on stage, Dayseeker doesn't have the perfect game plan to really get in like he wants to. That's just the problem with Batman, you know? He's pretty good at stage Forder. control, but he doesn't have the consistent toolkit to be able to keep that oh stage God, control. Storm. And that's an issue, because if you just can't make it onto stage like that, you're just gonna be hammered like a freaking nail. It just took this man a little bit to get warmed up, but now it seems like these Nair trains are flowing straight off the stage and into stocks, into early knockouts for Sandstorm. Absolutely. We're going to see the heart once again. There's the safe. We're seeing the safe once again come back in. And every time I see the safe come down, it's like the optim optimal timing, too. It's like the perfect placement that it needs to be to put Dayseeker oh at a bad disadvantage, to be just comboed potentially off the side of the stage. Oh, that was the moment, Dayseeker. You could have went out there and tried to go for a spike or even yeah. a double fair there, potentially, he to might bring be him down to that spike. He might be getting some cold feet though after getting reversal last game. He might be playing a little bit more safe, which is a tough thing to do on a character like Batman because kill opportunities are few and far between at times. You're right, and I also want to remind you, he only took 30% that game. He only took 30 that game. Yeah, that's he, that's a download that's, complete right there. Exactly, like, that. that's exactly Thank how you. it is. I mean, there's no way of You'll really be being able to do anything at that point because Sandstorm just had everything on lockdown at this point. Yeah, say that that was one of those where as the sets got went on, he just had all the answers. And Dayseeker was struggling to find him as time went on and and those combos he was getting, you know, the Nair was flowing into itself and he was getting those early kills and great offstage opportunities and he really capitalized when it meant the most.